Well, what drew me to the project is Guy. I mean, we did a film uh, last year as well, and uh, he called me uh, September or something and said he was writing another one, and, and he had a role for me, Danny Francesco, and I said, I, uh, yeah, I'd love to come back and play again. It's making fun of all the tropes of James Bond films, but also kind of giving the action and the comedy and all of that front, making that front and center and not worrying about all the kind of ridiculous tropes that are, uh, that are used in those films. I love working with Jason. Then again, we worked on the last one and I, Jason is a gentleman and he's a very, like, it's hard to explain to someone who doesn't know him beyond his persona because uh, he's just such a he's just such an easygoing nice guy. He's he's in it to have a good time and uh, and he's professional and he's gracious and he's funny and uh, I've I've thoroughly enjoyed working with him both times. Danny Francesco is an actor very well-known actor who is beloved but misunderstood because he's he's living a bit of a double life as a lot of actors are I think um, where in the persona that he's known for in the business and outside of the business is not it sort of hides the darker aspects of his character uh, when we find him he's been having an affair with his sister-in-law, and uh, that is the dirt that Orson's, uh, that uh, Jason's character Orson has on him in order to get him to join this mission. And uh, Danny has a, he's a, he's like a lot of actors, I think, he's attracted to power and becomes a bit obsessed with uh, Hugh Grant's character, who is an arms dealer. Uh, so his, his sort of moral compass might be a little off a little off, a little not particularly worried about these sort of things, just enamored with the person who's seem, seemingly the biggest, toughest person in the room. And uh, Danny wants to embody that, you know? He wants to be that himself. Uh, but he's a little bit of a, little bit of a scaredy cat. Uh, well, Danny, I think, I think he gets on with everybody in in the movie because he it's not his world and he's very much in charge of his own world and then when he's brought outside of it into this world of international es espionage he feels uh, out of his depth but but he's studying you know he wants to bring back something to use it for a film role or to kind of better himself and take himself out of the world that he's been in um, I think Danny's just He's looking for a new adventure and, and he finds it with these guys.